what is going on youtube i'm making this video just to give you guys some quick information about my nasal surgery maybe you clicked this video because you have uh, you're going into the same surgery or you're thinking about going through the same surgery uh so let's start with my issue firstly uh, my uh, nasal cavities were blocked i was struggling uh, with breathing while i was trying to sleep at night that was the reason why i went to the doctor I'm going to keep it short, by the way, just to sum it up real quick so you can get the information that you need and be go on with your day. Uh, simply, my nasal cavities were blocked and I thought to myself that this is an issue. One day when I, uh, one morning uh, or one night when I tried to fall asleep, I was struggling. For four hours straight, I was just rolling in my bed and trying to fall asleep, even though my eyes were red and I was trying to uh, get some good night rest. Uh, it wasn't possible that night. So that's when I realized that uh, this is an issue. I went to the doctor. Doctor prescribed some sort of allergy uh, nasal spray for me, uh, which I had been using for a long time, even before I went to the doctor. Didn't work, obviously, because I had issues with my turbinates being uh, enlarged, and I had issues with uh, my uh, nasal uh, septum. Uh, so I decided that... Uh, uh, I should just wait for the uh, operation or surgery, uh, as I should say. And uh, he gave me a surgery date, which didn't happen before one and a half years after the first doctor's appointment. So I had an issue there just by that. So what was I going to do? Uh, am I just going to wait one and a half years without no sleep, which is obviously not an option? I went and I uh, got myself Otrivin. Uh, which is a nasal spray that opens up your cavities, makes you addicted uh, because it makes your uh, a, a nose swell up like on the inside. Uh, nasal cavities swell up after you don't use it. So when you get addicted, you have to use it just to keep your nose open. It helped tremendously. Like I, I was sleeping perfectly. Uh, but obviously, it's not a uh, solution because it's just uh, something that you can use for a short term period. Um without being addicted so i went uh, like i said when i got the operation date or the surgery date as i should say uh, i told the doctor um, there's uh, the doctor told me to be more simple the doctor told me we're not sure if we're going to do surgery maybe we're going to do it maybe we won't and i told the doctor straight up you, there's two options here either i use otrivin for the rest of my life which is honestly not an option or the second option you, we go through with the surgery so that's what they did they went through with the surgery and honestly i didn't hesitate because i wanted to breathe normally when i was sleeping and uh post-op now i can honestly say it's been seven uh, it's been nine months and i can say i have no issues with my nose my nose is perfectly fine when i'm sleeping now my nasal cavities are open and uh, nothing changed with the outside of the nose it's just on the inside, just to answer that question. And uh, would I recommend it? 100%, like do not hesitate. If let, Let's say my nose get clog, uh, clogged again and I struggle to breathe again. I would go to the doctor straight away and get the operation 10 times if I have to, because I need my nose open when I'm sleeping. It's, it's important. It makes your day-to-day uh, -day tasks better. It makes your life better. So, um, Anything else I didn't, uh... oh yeah. Uh, was it painful? Uh, was it uh, difficult, uh, the recovery process? And my answer to that would be uh, the recovery process was a little difficult because you're not able to sleep for like seven days. But other than that, no pain, uh, no discomfort really. It's, it's really simple and it's really worth it. There was no pain, like even when they pulled out the plastic tubes that were in my nose for one week, they said oh it can hurt a little bit nah it's simple you, you don't have anything to be afraid of honestly the surgery was super easy super quick simple and it is 100 percent worth it so i recommend it if you click this video to know if the surgery was worth it 100 percent. you should go through with it do not hesitate one thing that i have to say is when you finish the surgery it is really important that you uh, rinse out with salt water every single day for uh, six times a day, by the way. I did seven, I did eight, because I really wanted the recovery process to be successful. And I recommend you doing the same. Do not touch your nose because they crack the bone in the middle, you know, the septum. 
to straighten it out do not touch your nose for a couple of uh, months two months at least and just keep rinsing keep rinsing all the time take it seriously and if you take the recovery process seriously you will get results nine months later my nose is freaking perfect i can breathe i can sleep life is so much better i recommend it